Yeah, it was chilly this morning, but now it's not, so I'm an idiot wearing a beanie when it's hot out. Uh, anyways, I'm at Manzanita Skate Park. There's just like some long grinds to play with, so I'm just gonna try to hold some grinds and dork around and film a couple things. Here we go, Manzanita Skate Park. This ledge was completely buttered up. I didn't even have to bring wax, so you know I'm about to have a great time on this ledge. I think, I don't know how long it is, maybe like 20 some feet or something. Um, cross lock the wrong way, like always. Cross locking back with these on ledges feels so good, but now when you roll your windows down like that, like waving my arms like a moron. Yeah, whenever I do long front 50 50s though, I just, I can't help but automatically cross locking wrong. And I wasn't always like that. Like, see how it just goes front feebly? So annoying. Um, almost showed control on that one. Yeah, put your arms down. That's cool. Back 5 0, arch nemesis. If I try to manual it, it's so much harder for me to hold a long one. So that's why I obviously went boarded and went to nose grind, a trick that I know I was going to be able to do. Even cross-locking wrong on a nose grind. Who does this? I decided to start trying back 5 o's again. Yeah, I don't know. Like, if, if, if I was dragging my tail the entire time, I feel like I could definitely, like, front 180 out and kickflip out. And like, The whole point was I want to manual back 5 o and uh, not be too cheap about it. Because back 5 o's are super forgiving once you get into them, but... Gotta throw a slappy in there. This guy was trying this nose mid on only backs. I flipped the entire time that I was there, and I think he landed it, but I figured I'd uh, give him a shout out. Look at all that sweat. He was going in. Went to fakey, so clearly that doesn't count. Gotta come out to regular like an adult. That was my first time ever feeble grinding that entire ledge. Yeah, you know, I just feel like holding grinds long is a good way to get my balance back and also it's pretty much the most fun thing i can do on a skateboard parts getting a little crowded so we'll see uh, how much more of this i can do i honestly wasn't sure if i wanted to go toe side or cross lock for this 50 50. cross lock seems obvious but that would happen a lot it's just because i was like kind of rolling straight on uh, and toe side tie would grind with less friction so i don't know it was a lot of debate in my head that i don't need to talk about but i'm talking over this clip so here's me debating it That was super fun. And if you know me, you know I'm a sucker for long round rail nose slides. This one's super low. I've done it before, but I'm scared of it. That's not good. I always look at this every time I come here, but for like the dip in the concrete for like the kind of like crappy gutter pin that they have here makes me think that the dip's gonna fuck me up and not make it possible. I'll try it anyways. I wanna like wall ride and then ollie back out to the concrete. So this actually ended up being a lot harder than I expected. That divot in the run up really made it more difficult. And the wall itself, like the cracks on the way up stick out. So it kept catching my nose. And then uh, it's just the wall sucked in general. I've skated a spot like this and done the wall ride ollie out pretty comfortably, but yeah, this one, it just wouldn't work. I also think it's funny that uh, there was just like people randomly over in the section. Like there's no reason to really be over here unless you're just like kind of laughing around the park and no one was over there at all until I started filming and then all of a sudden <laughs> there's just a bunch of people <laughs> over there. Uh, and I'm, I'm not even, I wasn't even upset. I just thought it was like funny, like, oh, of all the places where people would end up skating, uh, this tucked away nook that I thought I'd be fine uh, ended up being where just people randomly started spawning. I felt like I was playing skate three. Um, but yeah, this, this ollie out wouldn't uh, work. But yeah, it's a skate park. What do you expect? People skate all over the place. Yeah, screw that. That last one was way too close to a broad ankle. Just not worth it. If this little gully wasn't here, I feel like it's gonna be so much easier. Um, also, I am still like, uh, but so I'm honestly starting to feel better and better. Hopefully in a couple days. Well, actually I have surgery in two days, so hopefully in like a week I'll be fine. Like back to 100% for the first time in like a year. This coping kind of bends up a little bit. I don't know if you can really tell, but it's like a little tapered in. So it's really good for uh, crooks. 
and surprisingly bad for like no slides and tail slides because it digs into your base plate a little bit more but uh so my shoe's flopping out this way which is like getting getting caught on my grip tape and then like folding under my foot and feeling all crazy so i don't really want to ollie in anything to risk that happening when i was trying those no slides one of the times it flipped on my shoe and just it was scary so um do some slappy crook slappy is a kind of a safety trick but going really fast at like a ledge slappy can be a little hairy so i'm gonna see how long i can hold a slappy crook on this ledge without coating it in wax so this point forward is just a matter of trying to find that sweet spot pinch to where there's less friction because i was like i refuse to wax this ledge it was already pretty waxed and i'm starting to think i can go the whole way it's like you want to make your ledge, the wheel that's over top of the ledge, spin more. Oh, well, this guy was cool. I talked to him and his wife for a little while. He watches my channel sometime. And, like, almost all the time, whenever I meet someone who watches my channel, they're just, like, a person that I would probably be friends with. Fakey doesn't count. So close. So lame. Yeah, that was exactly as fun as it looked. I mean, Slappy Crooks is always fun, but a really long one like that might be the longest Slappy Crook I ever did. Uh, I do want to find like a super long skate park ledge that's Slappy accessible. Cause it'd be really cool to do like a I don't know, like a 50 foot slappy crook or something like that. So if you got a good slappy crook spot at your park and it's well, actually, you know what? I don't even care where it's at, wherever you live, send me a really, really long ledge to come slappy crook. And then uh, maybe I'll come do it uh, since I got some uh, trips planned coming up. And then uh, I know there's that one sl like slanted curve hubba. And so that skate park in Texas, I nose grinded it before. And I remember I didn't skate it backside at all. So I'd, I'd be cool to feeble or slappy crook it, we'll say front nose is the real goal though i just remembered that i have uh these shoe drops which my friend christian made they're base it's basically super glue with a specific intent towards shoes uh i guess the idea is you know shoe glue takes a while to dry and so this is like a kind of a cross between them but what's cool about it is my friend owns it and he created it it's his formula he also does uh i haven't tried it yet so i don't know how great it is i'll tell you afterwards but he does do these shoelaces that don't break and they don't break. I think he charges like $12 for them. So if you're the kind of skater who goes through shoelaces a lot, this is not a paid ad, by the way, uh, and uh, that's like an issue for you, get the shoelaces. They're absolutely worth it. These shoelaces have gone through, I think, three to four different pairs of shoes now. Definitely the best skate gimmick product I've ever used. By far. Ten times cooler than the Helium skateboard that Element tried to do because it actually works. So, yeah, if you do rip shoelaces, buy these. If you don't rip shoelaces, don't buy these uh, there's no point to because you're just gonna have shoelace that last forever and you weren't gonna rip it anyways got it all shoe good together if you know me i skate my shoes forever uh and wow that shoe drop stuff worked exactly like super glue i'm pretty sure it's super glue but it has a skateboard on the front uh and my friend made it who was a skateboarder and anything that um helps get a skateboarder a little bit of extra money is pocket i say neat um i don't know how much different this is than super glue but it sure works at least as good as super glue so Worst case scenario, you're getting super glue that a skateboarder gets paid for. So, pretty neat. Uh, the shoelaces though, no one else has ever made a shoelace as good as this. I'm serious, like Kevlar sh shoelaces and stuff. I've tried every type of shoelace. I ripped through them all. These are the best. Uh, yeah.